Do you know, I'm so lazy. I couldn't actually be bothered to unsolder it from the board here, so I just cut it. Cut it thinking, well, if it is, if it's okay, I can just solder it back on, you know, to itself. And if uh, if it's not, then I can uh, I can just solder another one to the legs that are sticking out of that. Uh, pardon me, and we'll see where we go from there. Because ah, uh, please be broken. Yes, it's broken. Yeah, one of the nice things about knowing that's broken is knowing that one. Well, I've got a replacement. I'll probably have to buy some more. Because <laughs> you're not going to do. I'm going to try that bulb again. Maybe I shouldn't do that. I don't know why it does that. Why it just like you know busts. What's this? This is a 24 volt. Oh no, damn it. There's a spare for there. At 24 volt. But these are all uh, 17s. That's a 09. What's this? 12, 7812s, 7809s. And, and these are um, 317s. So that's no good. Maybe I'll put it in the transistor. Maybe I'll put it in with the transistors. Thinking, hey ho, let's say, uh, it's, Jesus, it's what you do. Um, right. <gasps> there we go, oh, I've got three of them. D822, D882s. Brilliant. So I can just swap one of those over. Because let's have a little look at what it's supposed to look like in the meter. I hope you, can you actually see that meter? Look. Just turn it on anyway, see if you can see it. No, you saw the camera, but I'll just stick it up by the camera. So that's that's how that looks. It doesn't look very healthy. So let's take another one of these and uh, connect it up. Don't matter which legs does it go where. Let's just splay that out a little bit just to make it easier for my connections. And then give it another retest. Let's see how it's supposed to look. Yay, yeah, that's how it's supposed to look. Or if it's already transistor, NPN. So, 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 so. Well, I did that, blew that. So, I suppose the first thing I want to do now is just chuck this back together again. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to solder this onto those legs there, the right way round, though. No? I'm not going to bother with a heat sink on the back of it because I don't think he's going to last that long. So, let's just get that about level again. Um, let's shift you out of the way. Let's go over there. The soldering iron. I could really do with something just to put this on so it don't burn into my tape. Well, that'll do. I just want to stick a little bit of solder. Bit of shoulder on the old uh, leads there. Just to make it easier for me to solder it to the other legs. You know, I don't see the point in taking it out of the board. This is, uh, I'm not trying to get a f aesthetics with this. That's not going to work very well, is it? Come here. You're gonna be a bit on each leg, not stickies all together. <laughs> okay, right. So I reckon we can just snot that onto there. Put it up like that, stick it up like there. I don't know if you can see that very well because I've got all this stuff in the way. Oh shit, oh, I can't see. Not very helpful if I can't see, is it? Okay, right, so. Let's get the first one. Okay, there's one. I'll use a bit more solid just to chop down these or two. And hopefully. Connection there, and we got a nice connection there. Beautiful. 
Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So let's pull that out of there. Get that out of the way. Now all we want to do now is just put this baby back together again. Just get that over there out of the way. We don't want any, uh, that's a dead one of course. We'll leave that one there. And that's a casualty for the day. This was all good. So let's get my solder out of the way because I don't know what I'm like. Let's turn it off in a minute just to conserve things. Um, let's just chuck these back in the holes whence they came. And what we want to see now is that this thing's regulating voltage again and uh, and uh, we're not, you know, we haven't completely stuffed it. I must give it to this little board to be fair. I mean it says that it's got all this protection on it and I keep blowing things but it it keeps on kicking but then that, no, I don't think that came out right it, the thing keeps working it keeps working you know all you gotta do is right, replace the parts but then I suppose we could say that I could blow the entire board up I'll replace the board and it'll be working again but it does say on the description this is off from Banggood uh, banggood.com and it does say in the description that this thing is basically the engineer's friend because it never dies and I've well every time I play with it I kill it so <laughs> or I kill parts on it but it comes back it does come back so right let's, let's see what we got by the way that's what we want to see is uh, I think it was around about 11 and a half volts or something when that popped it shot up to 30 volts 11.5 volts we're back again okay so this little baby does keep does keep ticking when it takes a licking a little bit of vibration through here yep could be fun for someone right let's just take it off again we want to put a load back on now I want to do this battery and this, this this light bulb I want to do this light bulb, but I think what the problem is is from if I remember these uh, D eight eight twos, I think they, 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 their output regulation is like one amp or something. So I'm not quite sure how this actually works. This is supposed to be not to thirty volt, not to three amp. So we're talking about 60 watts, right? Uh, no, no, we're talking 90 watts. If this was running at 30 volts, kicking out three amps of power, that's 90 watts, yeah? Uh, 30 times three. But there's no way that this is gonna deal with that. Because every time I put something on there, where it just, <laughs> sucks up the juice pop it goes it goes it goes it goes every single time i tried the jacob's ladder on it killed it i tried this bulb before killed it i tried the bulb again killed it um i haven't got anything that's like let's say 12 volt one amp so it takes about 12 volts of power I've got nothing like that. I've got a radio. I've got a radio over there on the window ledge, but that's all connected up to my solar panel. And I don't really want to pull it apart. I might have to. Oh, hold on a minute. I've got the radio so I can hear. But then we've got to put speakers on it and stuff and faff around. But maybe that's worth it just to see if it works or not. And this is a. I'm hoping it's going to work because yeah we can try a speaker on it I suppose and see if we can get this to draw a bit of power I'm pretty convinced this is the power leads I've got a speaker connection over there yeah I have. so let's plug this in let's plug that in there 
We don't really want it 12 volts, I don't think. I think this thing runs at about 6 volts or something, so I'm going to I'm gonna turn the, the, the power down, the current limit it all the way to zero, before I switch this baby on. And we're just going to get a, a speaker connection, if I can. I think that one and that one might do it. Uh, and I'm going to use... A speaker from crossing now. I've got to be bloody careful because all these wires are the same colour. And I can imagine myself getting into a bit of mischief. Into a bit of a mess. If I get these the wrong way around at all. So, the same colour wires as what's going on to the AC there. Um, <laughs> and the back of that transformer is now what I'm using for my speaker wires. So, my rights. I'm not sure what the signal is going to be like because it's got no air on it. But by rights, when I turn this on, um, after fucking about with it, we should get something. Now that's a speaker wire. I hope it's stereo, so we've only got one side of the speaker. Let's see if this works. Um, right, so turned all this down. That's not DC. I'm going to put some power in it. All. Okay, we've got high amp. Nothing blowing up just yet. Um, this is saying that it hasn't got any voltage, so I'm going to turn it up to, let's say, uh, let's turn it up to, oh, okay, well it's drawing a bit of power, because, so that's 0 0.6, 2, 3, 4, 5, I want it probably about 6.5 volts for this to work. Okay, so, why haven't I got any sound? Ah. Well, you must have it out. Yeah, because that's what happens, isn't it? After you go to there, this stuff falls out. Go on, try. Oh, go on, no, yeah. go on. Okay, go on, go on, try. Nonsense, but Mrs. Van Zad, I'm, I'm her companion, you see. Okay. Well, she's very pleasant, and I'm well, very works. lucky to have such a position. The house is luxurious, well, but in all honesty. Yeah, I've got it down. Why you turn into it? Then I consider myself extremely privileged. You're laughing at me. Absolutely not. I don't think I've had a conversation with anyone under the age of 50 in nearly five months, so if I talk too much... <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not laughing at you. In, in fact, I... What? I've been thinking about you as well. Oh, this is getting weird. <laughs> He's going to propose his undying love for her. And she's going to yak up on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't go to the party, but it's no, about. I can see that. How on earth would you know? It's about You're not interested in my opinion. No. No, please not. Thankfully, what's nice is it? I don't know the crowd. <laughs> That's what power supply. Pretty convinced ourselves. Like That's not bad, never <laughs> That's a power spot. That noise is exactly the same vibration as I can put Well then, what is it? If you're capable of explaining yourself. I didn't know where you were. Uh, Who no you one were. cares. Anyway, so yeah, that's that. That that that, uh, that still works. That's good. So we've got a regulator voltage. It doesn't seem to like anything. Um, just at this minute in time, I need to find out a way to wire up that. Just to, that's warm. Is that because we've got Eddie running around when he shouldn't be? And he's got his salt on his raisins and his currants with him. Okay, well, might need to. Uh, uh, might have to do something about these windows. Yeah, there's a little bit of warmth there, uh, but I suppose, you know, 
these aren't very efficient are they I mean they're not you wouldn't get one of these uh, one of these transformers for the efficiency it's not they're not I don't think they're actually designed for that they're just designed to you know whack out a couple of thousand volts very low ampage uh, for a magnetron so but that's that's quite warm uh, I don't mean it's hot at all I mean what would this be like this would be probably the coldest water you might want to wash your face with in the morning Oh, no, 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 no. That's probably just me, because I like warm water in mine. Even though I do tend to wash my face with cold. Uh, so, yeah. Well, this will be after just keep playing with this and we'll, we'll see where we go with it. But that is definitely, uh, definitely a little bit warm. Nah, no, it's freezing cold. It, that was getting warm before, but it's freezing cold with a bit of heat, heat shield on there. There's no temperature on this. So, well, I'm going to call that a little success then. This is a sort of fix. It needs to have some, some alterations. I probably could take that back out of there um, and rewind it, knowing that I've got the right amount of turns that I need really for the power. Okay, we've got one lead is missing out in the middle. It's not actually connected in. I wonder if that could be making it warm up a little bit. Not sure. <laughs> Uh, it's probably not good just to have that hanging around so I might just pull those out as well oh, no, no, no. Yes, they're, they're nicely screwed in but anyway that's it guys for this so far I think I'm going to just pat around with this a little bit more and um, try not to break it and if I can come up with anything better to show you with it I'll, uh, I'll do that cheers for watching if you got this far uh, we'll speak again soon Bye.